Meghan Markle gave up all of the things that she had to marry Prince Harry, according to his polo player friend Nacho Figueras. Nacho praised the Duke and Duchess of Sussex during an appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. The polo player told Ellen, I've been friends with him for 12, 13 years now and I've seen it all happen right from the very beginning when he was who he was and he was younger and that was all great. And he's a wonderful man, someone that really cares. He's really committed. He really cares. He cares about children. He cares about making the world a better place. Then he found Meghan who is an incredible girl, she's amazing. She gave up all of the things that she had to marry this man that she loves which is great. And people think of it like, oh, how easy it is for you, girl, to go marry this guy but nobody knows all the very hard things that go with that. Meghan starred in Suits when she met Harry in 2016 and moved to the UK ahead of their royal wedding in May 2018. The Duchess of Sussex closed her personal social media accounts as well as her blog The Tig. Meghan before meeting Harry was also outspoken on political issues and since marrying into the royal family has adopted their neutral stance. Nacho added, to me the most surprising thing is that media and even some people are not seeing that these are heroes, we should be treating them as heroes. These guys are taking their time to make the world a better place. And they're all fighting for us and instead of us embracing them and loving them and cheering them up we are attacking them, so it's a shame. Sharing a clip of his appearance on the chat show on social media, Nacho said, Thank you my friend at the Land Show for opening the conversation on why love should be the answer when we talk about people that work so hard to make the world a better place. I will defend my friends at Sussex Royal with my life because they are making a difference and we should all be supporting and helping instead of attacking. Let's be kind to one another. Before of their Africa tour, the Sussexes were accused of hypocrisy for taking four private jets in 11 days over the summer despite preaching about saving the planet. There has also been ongoing speculation of a row with Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge as so-called Fab Four parted ways by splitting their royal foundation. Meghan and Harry also faced backlash over keeping the birth and christening of their son Archie Harris in Mountbatten Windsor private and refusing to name who Archie's godparents are. Last week, Prince Harry slammed British tabloids for their ruthless campaign against Meghan Markle. Prince Harry is taking care of his family by taking on the press. Last week, the royal dad slammed British tabloids for their ruthless campaign against his wife, Meghan Markle. The shocking statement coincided with a lawsuit filed by the Duchess of Sussex against the Mail on Sunday over the publication of a letter she wrote to her father, Thomas Markle. It emerged days later that Prince Harry was also taking legal action against the Sun and the Daily Mirror over alleged interceptions of his cell phone voice mails. He is looking at ways to protect Meghan and he is worried about Archie, a royal insider tells People in this week's issue. He wants to protect his nest, and this is the only way he can think of doing so. Harry also evoked the memory of his late mother, Princess Diana, in his October 1 statement, saying, Though this action may not be the safe one, it is the right one. Because my deepest fear is history repeating itself. I've seen what happens when someone I love is commoditized to the point that they are no longer treated or seen as a real person. I lost my mother and now I watch my wife falling victim to the same powerful forces. We thank you, the public, for your continued support. It is hugely appreciated. Although it may not seem like it, we really need it. The royal couple's aggressive moves have come as a surprise to even palace aides, including those who work with other members of the royal family. Some insiders said the timing distracted from the positive work Meghan, 38, and Harry, 35, achieved during their 10-day tour of Africa. This is a separate and private issue that has been willfully introduced and has sabotaged some of the great work they were doing, says historian Robert Lacey. But for Harry and Meghan, who are funding the legal actions themselves, there was no choice. To stand back and do nothing, said Harry, would be contrary to everything we believe in. Although Prince Harry didn't directly address the statement, he gave a powerful speech on the final day of their tour of Africa. We will firmly stand up for what we believe, 
he told those gathered in Tembiza, a township near Johannesburg in South Africa. We are fortunate enough to have a position that gives us amazing opportunities, and we will do everything that we can to play our part in building a better world. We will always seek to challenge injustice and to speak out for those who may feel unheard, Prince Harry continued. So no matter your background, your nationality, your age or gender, your sexuality, your physical ability, no matter your circumstance or color of your skin, we believe in you, and we intend to spend our entire lives making sure you have the opportunity to succeed and change the world.